Welcome on in everybody. And this is a special tarot reading for the full moon in Gemini. And I'm going to open this up by clearing the space. If I can get this thing to light, wow. <laughs> okay, and so while we're clearing the space, let me remind you that I already put out the astrology and if you missed it, I will have it at the end of this reading so that you can click on through to that video. And in that video, I not only talk about how the energies are impacting all of us collectively, relationally, um, the world at large in terms of resources, but there's also some pretty nice views in there uh, for this new location that I'm at. So if you want to have something pretty to look at, <laughs> some nice scenery, then definitely check it out. So I'm not sure why I'm having trouble getting this to light. Kind of sad because I bought this candle locally while I was out in Austin and it's made from beeswax. And it's uh, handcrafted, but yeah, apparently something went wrong. So I might go out during the reading, um, but we just need to have enough fire to get this area cleared. And there might be some kind of message to this, okay? Are you having trouble right now getting fired up about some things has somebody put your fire out right um, this is a lot of emotional energy that we are in the midst of right now and oof. and also air energy when we're talking about Gemini so we're gonna get into emotions that have maybe been smoldered <laughs> that are just kind of simmering under the surface of things. We're gonna talk about that in this reading. We are going to, um, we're going to discuss things that maybe need to be processed a bit more with all this Gemini air energy. And I'm going to close out with a message from Spirit I will pull from the Oracle card deck called Postcards from Spirit, which I don't use a whole lot, okay? Um, but yeah, for some reason, I'm really having trouble getting this to light, and I don't know if there is some kind of symbolic meaning to that. Spirit, thank you for your messages. Thank you for your messages today been having trouble finding lighters lately too, lighters that work. I, again, synchronicities, oddities going on right now. And we are shifting into uh, more um, earth energy as the month progresses. So um, hopefully, you know, if you're, if you're needing a little bit of fire in your life, Hang on, we got a little bit more to go, right? But I think uh, the, as we get more and more into um, the new year, uh, we're gonna feel that electricity come in with all the Aquarius energy. Uh, but between now and then, fire might be a miss right now is, is really what I'm, I'm getting to share with you um, as to the meaning of that. Damn shame, you know, I wanted to get that candle working, but I don't know if it's gonna cooperate. I'm gonna give it one last ditch effort and if not, then we're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, we're gonna roll with it. So there's some things I think that um, you're wanting, you're having to roll with right now and um, I am going to try to speak to that and get some answers. I know a lot of us are dealing with a very reflective energy, very, much reconsidering what has gone on over the last year. I talked about that in the astrology portion, but we're actually going to pull cards. We're going to get into uh, what this means more accurately, um, 
given your astrology as well so make sure that you are watching not just your sun sign but especially your rising sign will be relevant when i start talking about the um the astrology for example i'm a taurus rising so i'll watch the taurus and i'll watch for my aquarius sun and my pisces moon right um but of course the most accurate is looking at your chart and where gemini is in the new in this full moon is showing up in your natal chart okay and if you don't know how to do that of course you can come to me for a private reading links are down below and by the way i am running a special on etsy right now you can get a year ahead reading for less than a hundred dollars it is a steal of a deal limited time offer and there are payment plans if you're saying i can't even afford that right now hey you could do it for as little as 24 dollars to get the ball rolling and it's like a one hour reading where i get into your unique astrology and we pull cards just for you for every month of the new year so with that said let's get on to these readings Gemini, welcome on in to your reading and let's see what the cards have to say about this full moon in Gemini. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow, this is hitting your first house. Yeah, so um whatever's going on it's got a lot to do with you right um this is hitting close to home all right um what's also in gemini right now mars so uh, you could be very very fired up about something uh and if it's not like angry frustration that type of thing it could just simply be passion that's you know that's a positive thing right uh, maybe passionate about something new but um, more along the lines of something coming to a close in your life that you're passionate about completing something ending something um, but this is really a time when you need to focus on um, more self-care okay and we'll see how this comes up uh, this has a lot to do with your sense of self and your reputation, the way that other people see you out in the world. So we'll see what the cards have to say for Gemini. All right. I'm, I'm getting this feeling of something a bit disheveled, okay? Something's a bit disheveled. Um, I do see some emotional disconnect going on here, which I think is is common for a lot of people. I talked about that in the astrology um, report that I put out for the energy of this full moon, where, you know, full moons, lunar energies, very much about releasing um purging emotions okay when we're talking about a full moon but you put it in the air sign of gemini this could be you know intellectualizing feelings rather than actually just feeling them okay and i am getting the same vibe here off of this this card that you're not entirely maybe plugging into the emotions right now, maybe trying to walk away from the emotions or unplug from the emotions, if anything, you know. Beliefs that you're dealing with right now or that you need to move on. Again, another card of moving on, all right? It could be that a friend is helping you out right now. Um, but the facts are is that there's some kind of defensiveness um, maybe you believe that you're just kind of, um, leaving 
something, walking away, trying to get things more stable in your life, getting to calmer shores, so to speak. Dealing with some anxiety along the way, you know, you see yourself more like this or you believe that you're doing this for the right reasons, you know, but the facts are it, it's, it's maybe coming from a place of defensiveness or self-protection. And if that's not you, it's somebody around you is, is maybe leaving in their mind, they're doing it to stable things out in their life or get away from turmoil when in reality they're they're taking a very protective stance a very defensive stance there seems to be some confusion here about a king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn um could also be just an energy of what can I trust? What is stability? What is security? Like, yeah, you believe you got to move on towards this, but are you clear about what real abundance is in life? What being generous with assets involves? And what is actually going to bring you security, stability, um, what is going to put you on solid ground? Are you clear about that? Because this is showing up in a position of not so clear. Um, the clarity here is involving a Cancer or a Sagittarius. And it's about moving on. That Well, the truth is your rightful path forward is actually a spirit-led one. It's not necessarily... A money-based one it's a spirit-led one and with a chariot card this is about how you're asserting yourself how you are directing your energies how you are moving forward with your life and progressing it this might even have to do with a journey, a car, or some kind of travel, all right? There's some truth here about this. Um, but I'm getting a lot about assertion here, okay? And somebody needs to see very clearly that the way they asserted themselves were in fact maybe coming from a protective or defensive posture or stance, okay? Thoughts and feelings? Well, that could be uh, a Taurus, could be a marriage, but it's all about commitment. It's um, about maybe what you believe or what other people believe. Um, some of you thinking about trying to do the right thing. What is the right thing for you to do at this time? What are your beliefs on commitment and morality? Some of you are probably thinking a lot about that, reassessing that. Your feelings, oh no. Some of you are feeling very put out in the cold, okay? That might be why you're disconnecting because some of you are feeling some kind of lack or loss and it might be over what other people have, okay? It might have to do with their possessions. There might be some envy, jealousy going on about what other people have. But I do see that Spirit is using this. Maybe people in your life who appear to have more than you. Um, using that to move you or stimulate you or challenge you towards going after the abundance. But again, it's got to be Spirit led because I'm kind of getting like something's not clear about your thinking on abundance. Let me see. Tell me more. What is this seven of wands about? What is the seven of wands about? A lot of conflict, okay, that has really i'm getting slowed you down all right it's really 
put you, I, I'm almost getting some vibe, like this guy got to the top of a, a hill here, and he's at the top, but he can't go anywhere. And Spirit is like, we need you to see clearly about where you need to go from here, okay? Don't just get at the top of the hill and be lonely up there, right? There's some kind of conflict or adversity going on that you have to get some enlightenment on, all right? Until you get some enlightenment, it's almost like you're stuck in this state of, of turmoil with others or with yourself. Um, and it might have to do with a battle of wills. What you want or what you're willing to do is not what they're willing to do. There's something out of alignment in terms of that. And again, I'm getting the Hierophant, possibly a Pisces, possibly a Taurus here, where there's some kind of conflict or battle of wills going on regarding beliefs. Somebody needing to get some enlightenment about what they traditionally thought or traditionally believed about, there's that Five of Pentacles again, lack or loss. Somebody might have actually gotten put out of a marriage, out of a commitment. If it's not a marriage, it's a commitment of some type. And they are now at a loss for support. They are lacking support. And it might be because there was um, conflict over what people were going to do, how they were going to assert themselves. Somebody got defensive here and needed to maybe make a sacrifice and perhaps was unwilling and that put one or both parties in a law, in, in a place of lack, lack of support. What is the rightful path forward i'm getting a lot here okay some of you you're having to work hard to get a lot of change in your life you want to get to this place where you feel like you have um more privileges in your life you have um people who are giving to you generously who are holding you in high esteem but unfortunately it's taking a lot of effort um, and again, maybe sacrifices that you or other people are conflicted about making. And it's causing somebody to become very defensive here. What is this confusion about with the King of Pentacles? King of Pentacles. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles. Well, there's something that you, some belief you have about stabilizing things, bringing security and trust that is just actually not, there's something not whole about it. It's like, it's not the whole truth, okay? And the whole truth might be that you, you need to get adequate support. I'm seeing a lack of support here and I'm seeing conflict over people making sacrifices and getting defensive about sharing in sacrifice. Um, and that's just not sustainable. That's not how you can't build anything from that. You can't create abundance. Um, there might be a lack of actual truth here and, and integrity and wholeness that somebody's trying to actually build something without the proper things in place, the, um, the proper people, the proper resources, um, honest people, people who are, you know, sharing, um, sharing effort sharing sacrifice there might be a queen of swords involved aquarius libra gemini is what i'm seeing here well that's your energy very possibly where i'm seeing a lot of disconnect and cutting things out and moving on and i mean not really like just 
making a logical decision of I'm going to go after mine. This is a lot of, um, I'm getting a lot of solitude here. I'm sorry to say. I'm getting a lot of me, myself, and I type of energy going on here. And Spirit is saying that you need to surrender your ego <laughs> and surrender to trust, okay? I, I feel like there's, there is an issue of trust here, that there needs to be trust, but somebody is unclear about establishing trust, maintaining trust, building trust. And they're not doing it with the proper tools, people, approach, resources, whatever. You fill in the blank. Something ain't adding up here. It's not resulting in trust. Uh, this card is saying, trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. The spirit-led path, right, is the right path. Trust the leading of spirit is really what I'm getting off of that. Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further, but humi humility will further, further your goals. Being humble, basically, okay? So I really feel like what, whoever's been doing this defensive posture um, it's brought a lot a lot of conflict okay and um, a lot of self-concern a lot of what about me what about me what about me right he doesn't want to be part of the group he wants to go his own way and he's this is a group dynamic where there's conflict and somebody's going to have to make a sacrifice until they do things are going to be stuck like chuck and i see a lot in terms of values and um, resources okay um and and not having the support of a group dynamic this could result in a lot of conflict over money money Mo fighting over money in a marriage or not getting a commitment over marriage because there is a battle of wills over the use of resources. Wow, that is a, that is a message right there. Let me see if I can give you a postcard from Spirit. My nose is itching like crazy. Let's see what the advice is for Gemini feeling this one the simple yet powerful law of cause and effect means everything is in relationship every action on earth has a consequence and even in the spirit world there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf right now you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions consequences are coming into being in your favor they will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition pay off if some things are still a little off and uncertain just know whatever you are facing you can step beyond it just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to what is being presented Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations. Wow, that word came up in the Taurus reading, reverberations. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing how we adore you? I'm going to say, Gemini, that whoever's been in this very egoic energy of me, myself, and I is going to get 
me, myself, and I. Right? I got a saying, if it's all about you, all it's ever going to be about is you. Okay? Yes, there's a time and a place for self-care. I said that early on. But I do feel that there is an issue within a group dynamic with all these fives where there has been a lack of support, a lack of cooperation. There's even been combativeness about it that is leaving somebody in a state of lack or loss. And I feel that there will be um, a consequence for that. There will be a reverberation of that, okay? Um, that whoever got defensive, whoever um, pushed back, didn't want to get involved, didn't want to make a sacrifice, um, and put somebody else in a state of lack or loss, they may soon find themselves in that same position. And, and I'm sorry to say that, but that is what I'm getting off of that card. So, um, wishing you the best, however that applies to you. And I am going to move on to Libra. All right. Libra, this full moon in Gemini is impacting your ninth house of higher learning, foreign travel, long distance travel, um, beliefs. Oh yeah. So for you, um, you could be feeling a bit restless and agitated with Mars also there in that ninth house feeling a bit stuck. You know, a lot of the signs have been getting that um, for, that I've read for so far. A lot of this stuck energy and it's almost like spirit is saying, okay, what, what do you need to let go? What's not working out? Um, and for you, it would maybe have to do with a, some belief that is just not turning out to, you know, go the distance, right? It's like, well, you believe that, but Mm, it's not getting you what you believe, you know, it's not, it's not turning out to be true. Um, and for others of you, this is about travel. If you've wanted to make a long distance trip and haven't been able to do it for whatever reason, this might be about you breaking past that blockage. And yeah, so with the Knight of, Sword, Knight of Wands, this could be Aries, Leo, Gemini that is relevant. Another card of disconnect, that card's coming out a lot for, you know, a lot of the signs for this reading of maybe you're feeling disconnected from something, but I am getting some impatience. And for some of you, it might have to do with moving, moving a house, moving house. Okay. I'm um, getting expansion with your life. Some of you getting very restless and impatient about moving this, moving this, moving this. I want to get on. I want to get on to my happiness. And, and that's it's so much so that you're not really plugged into the feelings that you need to be processing right now and releasing with this full moon in Gemini. So um, what would be productive during this time is to maybe um, try to tune in more to those feelings. Um, maybe with the people that are you know, closest to you or spirit, you know, ninth house is a very spiritual house. So doing some prayer and meditation and maybe getting some divine downloads about how to let go of emotions that have maybe can have contributed to some stuckness. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit messy there. It's a little bit messy. Let's see for Libra. Now I'm things stuck together. It's, it's weird. It's like I'm getting with the cards this energy of it's it's either all um, uh, messy or it's all stuck. And you got to find some in between. But the energies are probably very difficult right now. Okay damn there it is again and you've seen me shuffle the hell out of that deck a lot of the signs are getting that okay of being emotionally disconnected and you just want to go after your happiness okay um your beliefs 
some of you feeling very alone right now feeling that you don't have what you need okay um, but the facts are you've got some commitments in your life you you have maybe some of you are married or you have people very committed to you you have some kind of support in your life um, but there seems to be some confusion over <sighs> holding back about something, okay? There's something that perhaps you've been not giving yourself to or has not been giving to you. And there's, there's a lack of clarity about conserving or um, how to preserve yourself, how to protect yourself, um, what it is you need to hold back from right now. Some of you, if this is about money, you're not really clear. You're, I, I'm, I hate to say this, some of you are not really good about being frugal, okay, and conserving resources. Um, not real clear on how to stabilize your finances okay the clarity here is um there needs to be more flow in your life some of you um letting emotions out others of you this is about cash flow um healing those finances i mean usually i don't read it that way but um uh, creative ideas inspirational ideas again a lot of the um Card, a lot of these signs are getting the, um, these cards tonight indicating that there there is some kind of creative block uh, that needs to be overcome a tapping into the spiritual downloads um, of what spirit is telling you um, is the way out of, of whatever you feel that you are lacking right now in your life um, this is about a new creative beginning some of you um with your beliefs okay this is spiritual growth and really getting clear about these um these strong emotions that perhaps you have but are more in the undercurrent more in the subconscious and haven't been really fully processed and um released okay the, there needs to be clarity about that because in getting the clarity, I think you're going to get a lot of spiritual healing. Um, all right, your thoughts right now. I think you are th you are mindful about getting some kind of expansion in your life, some type of growth, trying to nurture something. It it's a very feminine vibe uh, with the Empress, but. Uh, Taurus might be relevant, Aries might be relevant as well, but this is about being resourceful and financially resourceful, okay? So some of you are thinking about this. I, I mean, I'm really getting a contrast here in terms of you don't, you want to get expansion, but you don't know what you need to cut back on, okay? Okay. You're thinking, and I, which I kind of like. In a way, I kind of dig that, right? Rather than, you know, cutting, clipping coupons. <laughs> Can we talk about how to increase, increase income instead so that we don't have to clip coupons, right? Um, but I, I almost feel like Spirit is saying there is something you do need to cut back on and you, you're not seeing it clearly, okay? There's something that you need to... Um, financially, materially cut back on. Um, and you clearly need to open up about your emotions and getting these creative, inspirational downloads, okay? Uh, feelings that you're having right now, very, very earth, uh, air signish, I should say, okay? It's like. Very logical, very logical. Um, there's something that you're kind of, um, on the surface, you're coming across very respectful, maybe, um, I don't know if something has happened where it's caught, really caught your attention, okay? This card is saying startled, flabbergasted, astonished, respectful. 
admiring, courteous. Um, interesting, uh, but inwardly confused, okay? It, it, it's, it's a confusing message for me, like, what... Are you trying to cut through the confusion? Are you... And it could be somebody else's confusion. If you are clear within yourself, you're trying to cut through somebody else's confusion. You're maybe trying to do it in a respectful way. But I'm getting, I'm hearing astonished. I'm, is it, oh yeah, it's there. It is astonished, okay. So I'm being brought back to that word astonished. Like some of you are like astonished at I feel that you're clear within yourself about something, but you're, you're astonished if somebody else is not. Um, this might have to do with a housing situation, not getting forward movement and stuck. Okay, this might be a property or housing or home or family matter where distant horizons is in reverse, not getting forward movement might have happened something that happened going back to last summer um last six months not able to get forward movement and it's brought about a lot of concern like i don't know what do i do with that i think you're respecting it like i don't know which way this is going i think you're trying to cut through the nonsense cut through the bs i think you're trying to use your your logic and your intellect to get clear on what happened here but I just heard the runaround, somebody getting the runaround, and I think you're trying to like sift through it or sort through it mentally. It looks like Libra, um, There seems to have been a, a commitment and maybe there's some cutting, some there's some distance, okay? Uh, there's been some kind of separation. There's distance, separation. It might be with a marriage. Um, it might also be with a, a contractual commitment. It, it looks like somebody is alone, definitely alone here. And if you are in a marriage, you may feel alone um, some of you may, in fact, really be, like, kind of going it alone, all right? Um, and very much... Okay, so I'm getting an interesting message off of this. You are trying to make plans for your future. You're trying to make decisions, choices for your future. And it might have to do with partnership. But it's almost coming from this belief of scarcity or lack of, I'm going to have to, I don't know, I'm getting something like, um, um, what's the phrase? Just scrap it together. Do it on a shoestring budget, something to that effect. Um, it's coming from this place of I don't have enough. How do I make these plans with not enough? Okay. The truth is you actually do have support. Um, yes, there is a real feeling of aloneness or being cut off from support and separation here. But I feel this is more spiritual support than anything. This is a lot of spirit. This is all major arcana here. Spirit has your back. Okay, that's the fact. That's the truth of the matter. You're not totally without. Now, yeah, in this 3D realm, you might feel like this is really like, how do I, how do I piece this all together in the 3D when I don't really have everything that I need in the 3D to make this happen? The fact is, spiritually, spirit, uh, spirit has your back, okay? Um, and I do feel like spirit is trying to guide you, 
give you divine downloads in your prayer and meditation time of how to breathe new life into this, how to get a rebirth cycle out of this, out of perhaps a commitment that you've been in, maybe a marriage, maybe a separation. Or some of you cut off from some something that you were very committed to within yourself. Perhaps a Scorpio or Virgo is relevant. I'm also seeing air sign Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, probably you right there. Empress could be Taurus, Aries, and yeah, that's what we got. Please tell me more about this. There's going to be renewal, okay? You need to get clear about how to begin again. I'm getting a lot of rebirth, rebirth, right? This is about birth and that is about rebirth, okay? So you, the fact is you're slated for rebirth cycle and what you need to get clear on is there will be the beginning of something new and with the three of wands, there will be expansion. That too is gonna go to a three, okay? But it might be for some of you, if this is a marriage where there's been a separation, um, might be with a different partner, okay? Might be a new love. Gotta say that. Gotta say it. Um, for others of you, you know, you are healing. You're in a time of healing and that's why you're kind of waiting on your ships to come in because, and you might feel like, well, things aren't lining up for me right now to make plans and partnership and move forward the way that I want but this is really because spirit is saying you know what we need you to get into a quiet space and get the divine downloads so you can heal these emotions you can heal spiritually you can grow spiritually and that's why things are kind of pull there's a pullback a drawback time a waiting time that's going on so you can do it what is it that you are trying to um, get expansion on? What is what is uh, Libra thinking about expanding? Something that fell out, okay? You're trying to nurture and nourish something that fell out and might be with an ex going round and round and round. Are you going through cycles with people where there's been... A lack of integrity you trying to partner with people where I'm sorry the relationship just can't go the distance I see a lot of back and forth so for some of you um, back and forth with a partner or going back and forth between two partners if this is not about partnership in a business or marriage sense this is about locations and some of you are waiting on divine timing to go back to a different location okay what is it that Libra is not seeing clearly that they need to hold back on? Or just tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Please tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Please tell me. You know, it, I'm getting a vibe like somebody doesn't want to open up. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting that it's there. It's a mess. I'm hearing loose lips, sink ships. Somebody does not want to open up about it. Please tell me. I think this has to do with a soulmate or it could have to do with your um, goals, your ambitions. And Ace of Swords, um, this may have to do with an agreement, a contract. Some of you have been very ambitious and going after some kind of contract or agreement that you felt was going to bring in a lot of blessing for you, but you have been confused about why it's been withheld from you or why you've had to hold yourself, people are, con why, you've, why you've held yourself back from this. I see a lot of healing here in having a clarity of mind, in having agreement. Um, there's got to be a moment of truth and clarity. There's, again, healing all over this in terms of what you have been confused about and getting clear within yourself about your ambitions, your goals. 
and seeing things very clearly as to what you need to open up to emotionally and what you need to hold back from in terms of values and in terms of um, material gain, okay? An Aquarian might be relevant here. I've got to say that. A soulmate could be relevant here as well. But seeing the truth, coming into agreement is super, super powerful. But I'm also getting here about something faded. A lot of about faded energy with the wheel, the star, um, all this major arcana that if you feel like things are not moving back, it might be that you're, you know, you have to, uh, you have to wait on divine timing, okay? And some of you just want to get on to the next thing and you're not really plugging into the emotional work that needs to be done right now. Um, the spirit is asking you to, is kind of maybe holding you in a, in a bit of a stasis until you, until you do this work, until you do this healing work. I know, some of you are like, really? I'm so tired of this healing work. Let's get on with it. I know, I know, it's, it's a lifetime, right? Can we just get the get out of jail card for free? Where's that? Where's the easy button? All this healing, please, you know? Surrender negative thinking. <laughs> you have control over your thoughts when negative thoughts surface. Say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. I mean, I do feel like you got to look at the reality of things, but and you need to feel what you feel, okay? And there needs to be a moment of truth and clarity, okay? But um, some of you are maybe again seeing what you don't have instead of what you do have, right? Rather than looking at what can't be done, maybe focus more on what can be done. Look at, rather than the blockages, look at the possibilities of now, 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 okay? The, the, the divine downloads that are being dropped and given to you right now. Um, and that card says, surrender to wonder and awe open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life this attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow um I, i'm really getting that some of you are kind of not wanting they not digging this flow right now okay you just want to get onto the happiness right and spirit is like yeah we're gonna get there we're gonna get there um but i need you to be in the flow of now Okay, rather than trying to flow on to the next thing, um, get on it now. All right, let's see what the postcards from Spirit have to say as your advice for Libra. Libra. Dearest you, we know everything in the universe is perfect, even in its flaws. And we view the creation of spirit in total awe. There's that word awe again. <laughs> Some of you need to go stargazing tonight, okay? Or moon, moon gazing, all right? All is unique, yet part of a unity of existence. But the human experience is a little different from ours. You tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal. And this isn't serving you right now. It isn't serving you right now. So forget your idea of perfection and see through our eyes, allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't wait until the perfect moment or mood to start something. Instead, enter life with all its flawsomeness. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Let others be who they are too, imperfect and human, complex or simple. It doesn't matter, for there is always something to discover, experience, and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable. Have you idealized something, and because it's falling short, Libra, this is your focus. 
But how do I work with this? I don't have enough. I don't have enough, right? I don't know why I'm being brought back to... Um, the other day I made a recipe with somebody and we didn't have quite the right ingredients. And I said, that's okay, we can improvise. We, let's use a substitute. And the substitute didn't exactly work and they got a little flustered and I said, hey, no, no worry. I know how to salvage this. We're going to, um, we're gonna use it as a topping on ice cream. And they're like, oh, I didn't even think of that. That's gonna be awesome. Like it was a cookie, right? It's a, it was a failed can cookie candy recipe, okay? And the cookie candy thing didn't come out right. It didn't, it, it didn't set right. And they, they got upset because it didn't come out the way, I said, it's okay. We're gonna use it as a topping for ice cream. We're gonna salvage it. It won't be wasted. No, it's not what we originally planned or thought, but hey, this might actually be a good opportunity to make that thing again when we have the proper ingredients. And in the meantime, um, we've discovered a new way of making this and enjoying this. So I don't know, I'm hearing enjoy the journey and I know some of you are just like, oh, please. <laughs> I hear you, okay? But I gotta tell you what I heard, enjoy the journey or find a way to, right? Even in the mishaps, the flossomeness of, of it all, try to find a way to enjoy the journey. And with that, we are going to move on to the lovely Aquarians. And uh, yes, for those of you who don't know, I'm Team Aquarius. And uh, I always gotta let you know, Aquarius Sun, Midheaven and Mercury here. So I'm, I'm all Team Aquarius. And I'm so damn Team Aquarius, I had to make a channel called Team Aquarius Tarot. And it is Aquarius only. If you have not seen it, please check it out. Team Aquarius Tarot for more daily, weekly, like five, free tarot card readings just for the Aquarians, okay? It's over on Team Aquarius Tarot if you want more tarot for Aquarians. That said, let me talk to you about this full moon in Gemini. Woo, we already got a talker here, but it's running away from me. It's running away, I'm gonna get it, okay. Princess of Pentacles, yes, sweet Jesus with the sun. I am so loving it. This is good money news coming in, Aquarius. Oh my gosh. Somebody is communicating some positive money news. This is blessing, 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 right? That sun card is the most positive, benefic card in the deck. I mean, we could put the ugliest card next to that and that's gonna heal it. That's gonna soften things out. But no, we've got two wonderful cards here. This Princess of Pentacles is telling me that there's some financial opportunities or offers coming in that are gonna get communicated. Some of you may be a new job offer for some of you, okay? Others, it's just good money news coming in for you. Um, or you're coming up with some solid ideas on how to generate money, okay? And blessing. I love this sun card because it's really a lighthearted energy of healing, growth, success, vitality, having some fun. Um, if this is not money news coming in. I might be an earth sign child, somebody under 30 or somebody, you know, very young, this is very young energy, very new energy. Okay. Um, it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Some blessing is coming to them. And if it's not a blessing, it could be healing. It could also be that they're seeing something. The truth of the situation is coming out and being seen clearly to make way for healing. So all around super positive, but let me get back to this hitting our fifth house, right? With the astrology, particularly if you are an Aquarius rising, this is hitting the fifth house of children, fun, dating, romance. Holy crap, we got a lot of fun, fun, fun going on there with that sun and with the fifth house. 
Um, uh, but yeah, that could have been a child with that page of pentacles for some of you and showing up in the cards and, you know, in the astrology, fifth house children. So, um, I do have to say, you know, the moon there in that fifth house along with Mars could bring some type of aggravation, um, where if you're trying to, um, Maybe a fifth house is also about expression, creative expression. So if there's something that you are wanting to, um, you're wanting to create something, okay? You're wanting to express something. There could be some frustration surrounding this and children, uh, maybe an ending with a creative project, maybe an ending re regarding a children. However, I do see blessing there with those cards, all right? With this ending is bringing a very positive blessing, all right? And you might not see it right now. It might be just aggravating the you-know-what out of you. But the cards are telling me there's something really good coming in for you, okay? I really like seeing the, the, those cards, okay? So let's see for Aquarius. Oh, yeah. All right, with the three of pentacles and, and just the way I wanna see it, right? <laughs> Cooperation, teamwork, shared effort, shared sacrifice. This is what Team Aquarius wants, right? Because we pour it out to others and we need others to replenish us, right? We can't be drained, which unfortunately tends to happen a lot with Aquarians because right, not everybody's a water bearer. Not everybody has got that calling upon their lives to, um, to pour it out to humanity, okay? Um, but I am seeing here that uh, somebody's cooperating with you, or if it's not an individual that is being cooperative, it is, um, you know, maybe working within groups, uh, sharing resources. And so perhaps maybe in the past, if you had trouble with this, um, finally now it looks like there's some shift going on where things are going to start coming together and oh I had to put lotion on my hands they were so dry and now they're so sticky so <laughs> my bad uh, but anyway let's see your beliefs okay I think your beliefs are really faith um, your beliefs are really coming from a place of your intuition okay you knowing something, you following that prompting, you using a lot of discernment about a situation. Um, what you believe is based on what you feel spirit has led you to do. Some of you know intuitively that there are hidden agendas around you or people are not giving all the information um, there are secrets okay there's holding back of things and I think that you've been able to read between the lines and discern and I think that spirit has been leading you wisely I think that your beliefs are you know also if you've been not very forthcoming and sharing information if you've not if you've been um, kind of waiting and letting people come to you and taking more of a discerning role of, you know, how am I going to involve myself with people? I'm going to do it more cautiously, more discerningly. Um, you're doing this from a place of you believe that this is something that spirit is leading you to do. The facts are with the queen of cups, uh, could be cancer, Scorpio or Pisces energy, but, um, this is a lot of feminine energy here, by the way. Um, very empathic energy, very intuitive. Um, I think the facts are right now, that's, that's what you need to do. You need to tap into, even if you're a masculine Aquarian watching this, you need to tap more into that empathic ability and um, find a place of emotional security and um, I think, you know, be loving, be nurturing, right? 
Um, but this is maybe a more receptive, okay? I'm just gonna say this. It's almost like I'm getting with this energy, you believe that you maybe need to wait, wait for people to come to you. Um, the facts are you need to uh, maybe be more receptive to people coming to you, okay? Uh, it's it's really the same. I think you're pretty on point. I'm just going to say, I think you're pretty on point with aligning your beliefs with reality, okay? Um, confusion is coming in about a separation that has occurred here with the death card. Scorpio might be relevant. Um... There's been separation or some kind of ending between yourself and another person. And again, with the fifth house, this might have to do with children. And changes going on maybe with your children or your dating life um, or your romantic life changes going on with how you express yourself and what you create um, with your line of work. Clarity is that there's some defensiveness here, okay? There's some, somebody is, I'm going to have to clarify that. There's some pushback. I'm getting more of a pushback on this, okay? You have to get clear on where the pushback is coming. There's definitely been an ending, but and there's changes going on, but I don't know that you're clear about how things are changing in your life, where it's going. And I don't think you're clear about, there's definitely some pushback and where it's coming from. We're gonna drill down on that in just a moment. Your thoughts on the situation, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you know, it could be an earth sign male that is relevant, but I think this is coming from more of a place of, you know, you thinking about how to bring stability, security, trust, abundance into your life. Um, you're thinking more about generosity. Um, if not with money, then with assets. And your feelings, the Empress, I mean, this is a very, again, feminine, nurturing type of energy where you want to nourish on something. You want it to grow. You want it to thrive. I think that you, um, but I'm also getting a lot of, um, this could be a Taurus and a, uh, Aries there as well, but let me get more on this. Ooh. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start all over because it almost like came, it, 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 it was like that. <laughs> okay. So that's how it came out. You couldn't see it on camera, but it, it almost went all over the place. Okay. So I don't know if, um, some of you are overwhelmed in some respect. Um, yeah, unsure, where do I go? Um, uncertain, not confident. There it is again. It just popped up again. Okay. There's a very loving energy. I think that you have feelings of love and care. I'm seeing it all over this spread. Okay. That you're showing up with this very feminine, nurturing, nourishing, empathic, intuitive, discerning energy. Okay. But, and there's, you have a lot of love for someone or something, but you are not sure, like, I don't know where this is going. I don't feel any confidence. Like, what should I be nurturing or nourishing at this point? What is nurturing and nourishing me? You know, the feminine energy, particularly, he is very, um, not confident at all. What is this pushback about with the seven of wands 
What is the pushback with the Seven of Wands? Please show me for Aquarius. Shh, I'm telling you, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. They're all over. This could be a decision between uh, two people. Somebody made a decision. It might have been a legal contract, a legal... Um, it could be an actual divorce or separation. It could that is involved. Could be like a child support arrangement. It could be a lease, a mortgage. Um, there it is again. Courthouse occupation. Mature woman. So um, it could be a will. All right. An inheritance some of you it could be an employment or a, a, a contract uh, like this is more of a um, with your career okay I am getting that there are some kind of restrictive decisions that have been made that affected um, an older woman's earnings or occupations, occupations, occupation, singular. Um, there is an older woman here that is going through some kind of legal situation. Maybe, I don't know if I'm getting something with OSHA. That's weird. Um, OSHA regulations, somebody, I do not at all relate to this. I'm in a flow for somebody specific here. Um, workers' compensation, um, unemployment, some kind of legal battle going on with work. If you're not in a battle over some lost pay or injury on a job or loss I don't know if something like that um, this might have to do with you are dealing with um, restrictions upon your income okay or you're trying to deal there's some kind of there's some kind of pushback even if you're not aware of it, if you're not in a court or legal battle, there's some kind of uh, rules, restrictions, regulations that are impacting your line of work, particularly if you are an older female that is causing some type of adversity with your line of work. I, I mean, right, for me, it's these damn algorithms. And we know, look at this, it's at the bottom, last two years, the censorship that's been going on, right? And I know that with what's coming out on Twitter, um, we're finding out these big tech companies have all kinds of rigging, censorship, blacklisting, blah, blah, blah going on. And I know that I know that I know, I know, look at this, I know some shenanigans are going on because I'm not getting the reach that I used to. But I can't prove it. I can't prove it. See? I've been cut off from my audience. I've had changes going on. But I can't prove it. And I know. And I'm waiting for this dust to settle if it ever does. And I think that I'm gonna tell you, however this applies to you, you're dealing with a lot of adversity right now that you're not even aware of because there's things that have been going on behind the scenes that have cut you off from something that was life-giving. The good news about this is that it's in the upright so it hasn't reached the point of no return. It is very possible that this, some new life will be breathed into this, okay? There will be a rebirth. There will be some new cycle here. 
and I'm, what I'm getting out of this is the new life is possibly going to come from a legal settlement, right? If there was actually somebody passed away, maybe you are in the court system getting a legal settlement. Um, if you were forced to take the you know what, and you or a loved one was injured and can no longer work or gain an, a meaningful income from that, if not now, maybe later, there will be an opportunity to end, end up in a class action lawsuit where you can push back against this pushback that's come against you behind the scenes that you couldn't see clearly, you couldn't put your finger on it over the last two years, okay? Others of you, like myself, I see a possibility here that um, new revelations coming out about how creatives have been um, negatively impacted with their income, such as myself, over the last two years due to the censorship. Um, that is probably going to bring about some legal reforms of big tech, which may actually, over time, I don't know how long, let me get a timing card on this. I'm going deep for you, Aquarius. When is this resistance? Uh, try later. <laughs> a long time. Oh my God, please. That just ran away from me. More than a year. Okay. Um, not next spring, but um, not this next spring, but another spring from now. Okay. Spring of 2024. Hold your horses, it's gonna be a while, okay? Um, you know, the adversity, you don't see it clearly. It's there, it's real, like, go easy on yourself, okay? It is what it is. Um, what are the changes that Aquarius is going through right now? What changes is, tell me what clearly, clearly are the changes? What's gonna happen in this rebirth cycle? What's being rebirthed? What's being rebirthed for Aquarius? What has ended to bring a new beginning? Temperance. You know, this is about healing. This is about possibly a Cancer or a um, Sagittarius. I'm also getting a fire sign, Leo. Aries, Sagittarius. This is impatience, this is patience, okay? So there may be something changing in terms of spirit leading you to be more moderate in your approach, uh, not being quick to jump the gun on things that may be in the past that you did. Um, maybe to be quicker to bring balance and healing into your life in a spirit-led way, um, to trust your gut more. Some of you, you are going to move. You are literally moving house, but again, you are doing that in a spirit-led way. When is that move happening? When is that move happening? In December. Well, we're in December and I'm getting a July and a April for others, okay? So some of you, if you're like me, well, there was already a move, right? I basically moved December-ish and I'm still in flux, right? Some of you, we've got another time frame of April to July, all right? That there, it's, things are in flux is really what I'm getting from that. Let's see what Aquarius needs to release. What does Aquarius need to release? Surrender to creativity. A lot, a lot of the signs are getting this and I feel like it's because a lot of people are getting divine downloads right now with this lunar energy in Gemini. It's bringing a lot of creative spark and inspiration. If you just tune into it and tap into it, this card says, let your imagination store, stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. 
surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Well, I'm going to tell you a story about that while I'm shuffling the next deck for advice. I had an attachment to get back to Austin. I couldn't, for the last four years, get there. Finally, I just ramrodded my way through it. And I got back to Austin for three months. And then I got wholly shifted out. All right? Long, miserable story. You have to watch my lives if you want to know it, if you missed it, okay? Um, and I, after got, after I got shifted out of there, I'm like, whoa, what was that all about? Like, I guess because I was attached to the result of getting moved back to that locale. And spirit is like, at this point, I'm just like throwing my hands up in the air. I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't know where I'm living anymore. I guess, I guess, you know, you're in charge of this and I'm not. And who gives a damn where I want to live and when I want to get there, whatever. I just, I surrender, right? <laughs> it's, I surrender. You know what I want. You know the desires of my heart and you want to give me the desires of my heart, but how to get there and, and when it is, it's out of my hands apparently. Okay. And so this is maybe opening up to different possibilities, different options, different solutions, different timelines. My gosh, these cards are so wanting to talk. So I got two for you, like Capricorn. <laughs> All right. Dear you, it might be hard to believe you'll ever get where you want to go. Mm-hmm. Feel the way you want to feel and find the peace and security, but you can. There's lots to celebrate in this life, but first you need to let go of this attachment. <laughs> uh, to achieving certain results. Holy crap, that is a synchronicity. It's easy to get caught in the endless loop of wanting this or that so you can feel safe. The only way out is to surrender the attachment, empty yourself so you can be filled with something new. The compulsion will be lifted and peace will come. Trust that something better waits, that something new will open up and you will see new opportunities for fulfillment. The truth is, whenever you get into the loop, what you are really looking for is spirit. And that connection is where the power, the peace, and the purpose lies. Everything else follows after that. Give yourself a hug. We've got you. Loving you so, so much. Dearest you, over here, there is no mystery for us to unravel. As we know intimately how connected we all are, how the web of creation works, and how spirit is in every aspect of life, from the invisible to the visible. But it's impossible for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because the most important threads in the tapestry, you know, we got a tapestry here, don't make sense in the dimension you live in. That said, can you feel the importance of the currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways? You can't understand with your mind, but you can know with your heart and soul. Trust that even though you don't know how, the what or the why, we do. Surrender to the mystery and have faith that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life's mysterious and beautiful tapestry in glorious technicolor loving you so much as always wow what a synchronicity as you know it talks about the tapestry and i'm giving a reading on a tapestry so let me say while I'm closing this out, that, you know, consider the threads in these tapestries. They appear 
if you just hone in on the individual thread, it doesn't seem to be anything but an individual thread. Don't know from where it came or where it's going. No rhyme, no reason, but you know, when you step back and get more of this satellite view, you start to see the bigger picture emerges. Do you see the bigger picture emerging? It's a beautiful garden of life, thriving, growing. There's a water fountain here. There's statues over there, okay? It's beautiful. And I'm getting a message that you don't quite see this. You don't see where things, the, the winds, the twists and turns in the road, right? You don't quite see it, that it's weaving something beautiful in your life. It just looks like, right, if I focus on there, that looks like, what the heck is that? You know, or this over here. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really look pretty, but zoom out. Zoom out and you start seeing the beauty, which is a spirit-led life. All right, I hope that has blessed y'all. Thank you for watching and be blessed.